beautiful scripture passage we heard. Very, very personal. We are called to encounter Jesus very personally. And he was, while he was on earth, he was fully a human, fully. And we are not sometimes. That's my, that's why Saint Irenaeus said, glory of God is man fully alive. And we need to be fully alive and active. And to, we are called to love and to be loved. And as uh, Father Eric said the other day, Jesus' encounter was always personal. And here you see, like uh, today's gospel, you know, one of the, I, I like very much, Jesus came and said, peace be with you. They were talking so many things. They were amazed. And Jesus said, but at the same time, little bit with maybe with overjoy, they were doubting. Jesus said, see my hands and my feet, that it is I myself, because they knew Jesus' hands and feet very well. That's so personal. Touch me and see for yourselves. So Jesus inviting all of us to touch him, experience him. And he said, I'm not a ghost. And their joy was so great that they still could not believe. That's a very interesting thing. Then Jesus said, Have, is there anything to eat? I can understand that. If I visit your home, I would say, if I am hungry, is there anything to eat? <laughs> and it's continued. And they offered him a piece of grilled fish. I think these are the days you can you know, grill the fish. <laughs> it's a, and they offered him, and after that, Jesus spoke to them. Everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms. So it's, there is no disconnectivity from the Old Testament we need to remember. If we truly want to understand Jesus, we need to know the Old Testaments. We need to go through. And Jesus quoted that. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Here I want to tell my personal story. I had a wonderful experience, a conversion at the age of 17. I met a wonderful spiritual person called Brother Victor. I never seen any person who had tremendously gifted with the scripture. And I thought, I also just wanted to read the scriptures and to learn by heart. And as usual, maybe with the pride, I just approached the Bible. I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably intelligent. I can remember things. Like any other books, I just started reading the scriptures. Then I tried my best. Nothing was remaining. I, I was not able to remember any word of God. So then I started writing. Like many times, I remember still, I think almost 100 times I I've written one word of God. Then still I, I forgot about that. Then one day while I was making my holy hour, I said to the Lord, Lord, this is not my cup of tea. So I just closed the Bible and I just put it aside. But I started still going to church and spending time. Then after a few days, one day I just, I was inspired to open the Bible. And while I opened the Bible, I got this particular word of God. Luke 24, 45, the word of God says, Jesus opened their hearts and minds to understand the scriptures. And that is one of the gift of the resurrected Lord. And when I read, again, I started using my intelligence. I was saying that if Jesus opened their minds and hearts, what's the use for me? But at that particular time, Jesus was opening my hearts and minds uh, to understand the scriptures. Then I started remembering the word of God. Some people ask, how do you remember the word of God? It's a gift. It's a gift of the resurrected Lord. And it's a gift for you and for me. We can pray during this mass and during this time to have this. The Lord may open our hearts and minds to understand the scriptures. 
It's not going to happen with our own intelligence. We need to be truly humble. We need to be truly open and we need to pray. During this Mass, we can pray for that encounter, personal encounter with the risen Lord so that we will have a, a wonderful experience with the structure.